Good morning everyone, how's it going? So for today's daily challenge, I wanted to do the drive through difference. If you don't know what that is, that just means I pay for the person's meal behind me in the drive through And so I'm sitting in the McDonald's parking lot about to get some delicious food, hashtag cheat day. Just kidding, I don't diet. Every day is cheat day. But the reason that I'm doing this is because last Sunday I preached at Revision, I talked about how sometimes we run away or avoid God in certain areas in our life. And as I was preparing for that message, God was really putting it on my heart and telling me that I need to give more. I, I tend to hold on to my money, what little money I have, but I tend to hold on to it and not be as generous as I know I should be. And so in addition to giving to different charities and organization and really trusting God with my money. I thought this would just be a super fun and easy way to serve God and serve the person behind me in the drive-thru. So I challenge all of you who are watching to next time you're in the drive-thru, just pay for the person behind you. It's super easy, super simple, and a great way to make someone's day. Here we go. Hello, good morning, let me help you. Hi, could I get a number two meal? Yeah, would you tell us like the Q on the judge camera alpha window? Thanks. You're welcome. One. And then could I pay for the person behind me too? This is for you. Sweet. And if you want, if you wouldn't mind handing this to them. All right, I'll let them know. Thanks so much. All right, you're welcome. You see, it's that easy, and you get a delicious treat out of it too. I saw her too. She was grinning the whole time. I'd say it was a complete success. What's up everybody, how's it going? I am back at the office now and I thought I would talk you through my highlight reel. Today I had Revision U, which was a lot of fun kind of getting together and getting to dig in the word a little more and learn a little more in depth about what the Bible says and kind of how to read it, that was really cool. And then last night, Grant and I went downtown and we set up our cameras and got some sweet time lapses of the city, check it out. <laughs> Now to today's devotion. I feel like I say this every day, but I'll say it again. I know I've done this before and I'm sure you have too, where you kind of get stuck in this routine of loving God when things are going well in your life, but then getting mad at him when things get hard. We just expect our lives to go so smoothly and easily and we're almost conditioning ourselves to believe that so much so that if something bad does happen to us, if we do face a trial or we do face some adversity, we're almost offended that something would happen to us. And rather than dealing with it or facing it, head on, we just tend to point the finger wherever we can, and especially towards God, because how dare he, right? I think that's why we see so many relationships fail. They fail because when things go wrong, we just tend to blame the other person or the relationship itself. And then rather than putting forth effort, we just bail. But I just love that line from Job when he says, shall we indeed accept good from God and then not adversity? God doesn't cause us to fail, but there is evil in the world that will inevitably touch us all. And instead of running away, I think our job is to lean on God harder than we ever have before and watch as his plans take over. And spoiler alert, they're better than the plans that we come up with.